We're here with Professor Ananda Sankar Ray, and he is an associate professor of entomology at UC Riverside, and he's also the former director of the Center of Disease Vector Research at UC Riverside, and has his own company called Sensurgeon. So we have a few questions regarding mosquitoes and the Zika virus that we wanted to talk to you about today. Is that okay? Yes, absolutely. Thanks for inviting me. Perfect. Thank you for having us. Um, so the first question I'm going to ask you is, much of your work focuses on the smell that mosquitoes have and how they use their sense of smell to attract themselves to human beings. So can you explain that a little bit? Sure. So mosquitoes are really good hunters. They can okay. smell out a human being from many meters away and they can find little openings in, in walls, in windows or in your clothes to make a beeline towards your skin. And the way the mosquitoes do that is by smelling human beings. And the way they smell it is using sensors on their antenna. These are little okay. organs on their, on their head, as well as another small organ, pair of organs called the maxillary valve. And on them, oh. they have these tiny sensors that can smell odors coming from skin, as well as our exhaled breath, which has a lot of carbon dioxide. And so gotcha. it's, it's, it's the female of the mosquito species, the different species of mosquitoes, it's the female that actually hunts and bites human beings. And these are the ones that can, they have these sensors to smell out human odor. Well, do you think that they're more attracted to the scent of smell of the actual perspiration of somebody, or do you think they're more attracted to what we exhale, the carbon dioxide? I think it's a combination of both. So when a hungry mosquito is flying around in the distance, the first thing that it can smell is our exhaled carbon dioxide. So it's a form of carbon okay. dioxide that, we, that comes out of our mouth and gets carried downwind. And mm -hmm. when the mosquito smells it, it, it immediately turns upwind and starts navigating along these plumes of carbon dioxide closer and closer towards us. And when it's really close, about a couple of meters away, then it starts to get the scent from our skin. Our skin okay. emits about 700 different chemicals. And it's not just the sweat, wow. it's actually... Uh, uh, chemicals that are present already on the surface of the skin, many of which are degradation products of microbes, so bacteria, that degrade chemicals on our skin and they emit an odor. And that is what the mosquito is able to smell when they are close by. And at that point, it becomes a guided missile, you know, sort of coming directly towards the human skin odor. And so it's a combination of both breath as well as skin odor.